Hey guys, it's Lady. So, sorry um, for the hair situation, but this is actually a video that wasn't really requested. It was just like a suggestion video. Um, so, today I'm going to show you guys um, my concealers. Let's just jump right into it. So, the first thing is um, I always start regardless if I'm wearing makeup or not I always start with a freshly washed face and um, some lotion normally my regular go-to lotion is cocoa butter lotion I like the way it smells and makes my skin nice and smooth so to show you guys the differences I'm going to um, do one half of my face with foundation and the other half without foundation um, just so you guys can kind of see the difference but first, I am going to start off with my, um, my e.l.f. Eye Refresh. This stuff is not expensive at all. I think maybe I paid $3 for it at Target. Um, this reduces puffiness and um, it's very good. It has a nice tingling sensation. It goes on clear. Actually, no, it does have a little hint of sparkle to it. I don't know if you can see that or not shiny little shiny um but even with you know the little bit of sparkle you can't really tell that it's in there um or on your face it just makes it less puffy um maybe one of those nights you didn't get a lot of sleep you know stressful job you can see it in your face um it really does help I'm just going to plop this on here, just like that. It does not have a harsh effect, like it does not make your eyes really watery. It does not make your eyes feel like they're like super sensitive to it, but it that's just me. So I'm just going to let this air dry, and I lightly tap, just to help move it along all right there okay good so now I take a damp sponge I do like using sponges um, I'm not a big fan on using brushes when applying foundation I have used brushes in the past I personally do not like it um, I don't like that you can see the streak marks of the brush uh, so sponge for me is the best way to go. It really evens out um, the foundation or your powders or any type of creams that you're using. Um, it really does blend it out nicely and makes it look fully even applied. Evenly applied in my regular foundation. And I'm not going to use any type of primer or anything because this is like just showing you I'm not going anywhere. Normally I don't use primer if I'm going to wear makeup and I'm just lounging around my house. Um, I, that's just something I just don't do. So I'm just going to apply foundation to one half of my face. I'm sorry if you hear a lot of noise in the back. That is my um, fan. Alright, you see that? You see the difference? Alright, and like I've said, and I think almost every one of my makeup tutorial videos, my foundation on camera, it looks two to three shades lighter than what I am. In person, it's the same match. Alright, it's the same match. It only looks different because I am in front of a camera, I have lights, it, you know, it does look different, but, um, in person, same match. So, so the first one that I'm using, this one was not a good investment personally for me. Um, I did not like it at all, and this is the NYC's cover stick I thought that I could also use it as concealer like you know covering up the bags 
covering up the darkness that's what I thought it was I personally do not like it because it is thick um, it, it does come in like little lipstick like tube and uh, you know no matter how much or how little I do use this product um, you know on my face it does look like it's caked on and even when I apply the rest of my makeup it does look too thick a little bit too fake for me and um, you know it's just too much and by too fake I don't want to offend anyone because I do sometimes overdo my makeup but um, it just looks too overdone you know so I'm not trying to offend anyone. If you like to wear your makeup heavy, go ahead. I just don't like it personally for me. So this is what I'm going to use. It's the cover stick, NYC's cover stick. And it has been beat up a little bit. I don't know if you can see that. I think like the first day I got this, um, I tried to use it and it broke on me. And I was like, whatever, that happens to makeup. But, you know. I'll show you guys anyway and I'm gonna do it lightly because it is broken inside and oh there we go totally falling apart all right let's just do it with our hands so I'm just gonna put it on And I'm showing you the difference on both foundation and non-foundation because um, some of my concealers I do use um, just on my regular face and I don't use any type of foundation or any other makeup, um, especially just one of those days where you just want to look more awake and more alert, you know? So just a little, pop a little foundation underneath the eyes and you're good to go. And especially because I wear glasses and you know not getting the right amount of sleep plus glasses and bags and darkness um, dark circles it doesn't look it don't look good so I'm just gonna blend this out for you and maybe maybe the camera will catch how light this is too light for me All right, all right. You have to excuse me. Like I said, the fan is right there, and you see, this is where I applied it under my eye. I don't know if you guys can tell how thick looking it is, and even to the touch, it is very, very tacky, very tacky and sticky feeling. I do not like that in my makeup. I don't like anything that feels like. It's gonna clump and stick everything in the air to my face. I don't like it. And you can definitely see the color difference between the the um, cover stick and my skin. You see the difference there. It is too light. Um, you know, in person you can really tell the difference. But like I said, camera lights it really does change things. So. This was the first one. I do not recommend it. Um, I really don't recommend it to medium shade girls um, or guys, whatever. Uh, medium skin tones. Some people like it. Some people like having the brightness on their face. Um, if you're one of those people, then go ahead. I personally am not one of those people. Uh, so I'm just going to remove this. All right. And I'm going to remove the foundation side. And now I'm going to add just a little bit more foundation so you guys can really get the full effect of all of my um, concealers. Ooh, feels like I got something in my eye. Alright. Alright. 
So re-foundation. This one is kind of similar to the NYC um, in texture or material or whatever you want to call it. But this is this is e.l.f. concealer. It actually says it on there. E.l.f. Oops. E.l.f. concealer. Now this one I have used. I have used this one before. Um, this is my second time buying this product. This one, uh, this one could be a hit or miss. Um, it does, you know, it goes on a little bit lighter than the cover stick, uh, but it does feel a little bit tacky like the other one as well. Although it does do okay coverage, um, it's just. I don't know. I don't know. And if you if you want to know what it looks like on medium tones, this is what it looks like. All right. And it says right on it. It says beige, beige on the back or on the bottom. So let's pop this underneath here. And I do like it because it is in this uh, thinner tube. You do have mo more control when applying. That I like. I that's that is something that I do like. Um, and another thing about this one is, I do use it sometimes as a as a highlighter, and that that does well as a highlighter. Um, if you if you want something that is a little bit lighter than your tone uh, or maybe brings out your tone more then I think it's, it's very good as a highlighter and it does do an okay concealer this is one of the ones I do not wear by itself um, I do wear my regular foundation, concealer, powder. Actually, no, not powder because I don't use powder. Um, but I'll make that in a whole different separate video. All right. So, okay. This one was the Elf Concealer. And you can see there is a color change you can see how light it is compared to me um reason why i won't wear it by itself but it does do an okay job covering up the lines covering up the darkness and this one it does blend well when i do have my my um foundation on so you know that's a plus uh, hmm. so there you go there's that one and this one I probably will buy again to use also as a highlighter um, this one this NYC's cover stick no 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 I won't buy this ever again ever 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 again this uh, elf concealer that actually says concealer on it I would buy it is very good I do love elf products they are not expensive at all so maybe if you are new to makeup if you're tr trying to switch things up if you have beauty on the budget on a budget like me um you want to do some maybe low maintenance makeup just to make your face more awake um elf products is the way to go so there you go and it's not like I have anything against other products it's just you know me personally why spend $25 $30 on a product that's the same size and it does the same thing than another one you know if it still works if it does the same thing and it still works then go for it you know but that's just me so the last one I have for you guys I'm gonna apply some more foundation so you 
can see the difference yet again. And I'm sorry, this video is probably going to be a long one. Let's just get that out there. Probably should have said that in the beginning of the video, but I did not. So, I just want you guys to see. Now, this one is hands down the best concealer I have ever used. And I've used a lot of concealers. Um, a lot of different concealers, uh, uh, different brands of concealers. This is is the best. This is the e.l.f. It's another e.l.f. product. E.l.f. HD Lifting Concealer. All right. This is wonderful. 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 If you don't like a creamy type of concealer, a, a, um, a thick creamy type of concealer, this one will do the trick. This one, as well as this one, do come in different shades. Um, there's fair, there's medium, and I think there's dark, I think. I do know there's fair and medium. This one actually says medium right on it. Now this has its own, own applicator, and this is what it looks like. All right. That is what it looks like. And that is without blending. This product I use by itself sometimes. Um, I don't sometimes I don't use my regular whole face routine makeup routine. Um, sometimes this is enough. So here you go. In this one, it is a smooth cream. I love that. I wonder if I can... Can you guys see how smooth that is? I hope so. Alright. Now it's time to blend. This one... Y'all don't understand how wonderful it is, how much I love it. This really does, does the trick. All right? Now look, hopefully you guys can see, I'm hoping you guys can see. This is the foundation side. You can't even really tell where my concealer ends and my foundation begins. You can't see like the blending the harsh blending like the other ones have that is what I like that is something you need to find in a concealer something that will blend in evenly with your foundation with your skin tone you know just your regular skin period this does work people I'm telling you I'm telling you I'm telling you it does work and this one the non foundation side you can see a tiny bit of a difference, but other than that, it is nice and smooth. Does it look like I have bags underneath my eyes? Do I look like I've been working all day? This is it, people. This is it. All right, and this is what it looks like when I have my glasses on. All right? Bam. Bam. Look at that. Look at that. It's nice. Just regular, no foundation, no nothing. Look at that. Yes, honey. Look at that. Yes. 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 This does work. This is the best. I'm not trying to sell you anything. Well, it does sound like, it, like I am. I'm not trying to sell you anything. I do not work for e.l.f. I do not work for any type of makeup company at all. This is just something that I use, I love, I will buy this again. If I could buy this in bulk, I would. Hands down, the best. The best, the best, the best. So, um, I hope someone learned something from this video. I hope you guys like this video. Uh, let me know in the comments how much or how you feel about stuff like this. Because I want to hear your thoughts. I want to hear... 
what you got to say. And um, just let me know what's on your mind. Because uh, I like doing this stuff. This is fun. This is fun for me. So, now that I have a fresh face again, I want to thank you guys for watching um, my tutorial on my concealers and my thoughts on my concealers. Um, I really do hope this is this has helped someone. Um, thank you guys so so much for watching. Like and comment and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.